Good morning guys, Diana here from Garden Love. So as you can see here, I am standing over my kale. And you can probably tell that it's been devoured by something. Um, and like Steve mentioned, that that white butterfly that wasn't a butterfly at all, it was a moth, um, was roaming around these kales. He told me, look out for a worm because it's part of that moth. So it probably uh, laid eggs and now it's going to turn into uh, some sort of worm that eventually will turn into that white moth you saw in my previous videos. So I've been seeing signs of droppings. I don't know if you guys can see that. And um, so today I came out here and I was kind of upset because I wanted to cook with some kale today and a lot of them are damaged. So I really spent a few minutes just staring at it, trying to figure out where this darn warm is. And have you known that this warm is so camouflaged, I am surprised that I even saw it. So let me go ahead and show you where it's at. I'm gonna see, do you see this leaf? I'm gonna get close so you can see where he is at or she is at. And actually there is two of them. The other one is, hidden right there it's completely camouflaged on the stem oh wow my daughter just found another one no wonder this kale is completely devoured so I am going to remove them and uh, probably remove the damaged foliage and hopefully we don't get any more so there's a total of three that we've seen so far so let's go ahead and take it off. I'm actually not a pro at this. So, and you guys know that I do not like bugs or worms or any of that sort, which is very ironic considering that I love the garden. But um, here we go. Jasmine, do you want to try moving it? Where do I put him? Oh, maybe we should grab something. Wait, 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 don't drop it on the ground. Can you grab like a stick or something and put your hair back so I can see? See him moving? Um, grab like a little bucket or something. All right, so there are some sneaky little bugs because they're smart. They lay straight on the stem and they camouflage so well. I am pretty impressed. So. Perfect. Yeah, that works. Oh, wow. So let's try to remove these. If you guys don't know who Steve is, he is an agricultural teacher at Selmar uh, Agricultural Center. Um, we do workshops once a month at the Lopez Center. Of, around Silmar and also now um, in East LA or South LA. I'll put the addresses down below. He is full of information and that's the only reason that I knew to look for this bug because he warned me even before these bugs hatch and started um, eating my, my wow. kale. Yeah. So there's one, there it is, the other one. You wanna grab that? So my daughter is assisting me here today she is my go-to gal when it comes to getting these worms last time last year we had a grapevine that was devoured completely oh, down to the stem and she helped me <laughs> get them as well so every time these issues come out in the garden she's my girl to go she's not afraid of bugs like i am and i'm hoping those are it considering the damage i wouldn't be surprised if there's one more so i'm gonna go through every single foliage of this kale and try to see if i find another one i just i can't believe i hadn't seen them i mean look at how much they ate so they must have been tiny when they started doing this I don't see any more and I'm actually afraid to grab one by accident as I grab this foliage but uh, I don't see one I see all the droppings and I'm gonna have to no I have seen um, some of my tomato leaves with damage as well all right guys well I think that is it 
remember the big plant that was the ugly caterpillar? Oh yeah, we found a, a what is it? A horn, hornworm at one of my ornamental trees, and we got rid of him. All right, guys. Well, that is it. I hope that you guys don't encounter this tr problem. But now you guys know. If you guys have kale, you guys know what the worm looks like and where they hide on the stem of the foliage which they make it makes it a perfect hiding spot for them because they completely camouflage and they're smart little worms anyways guys just wanted to show you what was going on with my kale and my garden i have a whole lot of updates to give you guys i hope you guys stay tuned and i'll see you in the next one you guys have a blessed day Bye bye